Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we are in my very tiny laundry room because I'm going to show you how to deep clean your washer and dryer. There's a couple ways you can go about deep cleaning your washer and dryer, but I'm going to demonstrate my favorite way of doing it, and it's fast and simple, and if you've never done it before, this is going to really, really help the efficiency of your washer and dryer. So right now, I have the washer completely empty, which never happens, so we're gonna start with that. Please bear with me as we're working in quite a small space, but we're gonna start with the washer, and there's a few things that we're gonna have to clean on here. The outside, of course, we're gonna wanna clean out this gunk drawer here. We're gonna wanna clean the doors inside this rubber piece, which is on front-loading washers only, but the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the barrel itself. So we're gonna put two cups of baking soda in the barrel itself and we're gonna put it on the hottest cycle, which on my machine, it's going to be the whitest of white and I'm gonna use sanitize. actually just using one cup of baking soda just because I'm running a little low and also it seems like a lot to do two cups so let's do one cup and see how it makes out I've done it with two it works great let's see if one works just as well now check on your washer if you have one that says clean washer specifically go ahead and use that and it's gonna be a lot shorter than your hottest cycle which would be what is white so just look at whatever your washer has if it has that great if it doesn't use that default of the hottest cycle and we're just going to start that and in 48 minutes we should have a much cleaner washer it's really important that if you are using the baking soda method that you don't mix it with any other chemicals don't put bleach in don't put detergent in just do the baking soda right inside. What that's gonna do, the baking soda is gonna scrub away all of the grime, it's gonna absorb all the bacteria, and get washed away during the rinse cycle. We're gonna do one more rinse cycle once that's done with just a cup of vinegar right into the barrel again, and then just do that extra rinse, and then I'll show you the results. It's always super, super shiny, and it makes your washer more efficient. It really does. While that's all happening, I'm going to start the dryer. I've got a load of towels in there, and once that is empty and that is done, we can finish this up. So this is definitely a deep cleaning task that you can do as you're working on other stuff. I always just like to choose a time where I don't have that much laundry, which, you know, is really rare. But I don't right now, so it's a perfect time. It just finished and you can see why that extra rinse is definitely necessary so it's time to get our vinegar and pop it on in and spin so the extra rinse and now all those bubbles and all the vinegar will clean and finalize the drum so we can move on to everything else so this is how shiny the drum is after the vinegar cycle and now I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth to wipe inside the drum and use just a vinegar and water to wipe out this um, whatever it's called rim the rubber rim that gets all gunky
the washer done. Now on to the dryer, which is now empty. The dryer is a little trickier to clean and deep clean just because there is no water running to it obviously so you've got to do it by hand and also something that you can do which i'm not going to do today is actually pull it out and undo the screws and clean out the hose because a lot of gunk gets caught in there so first things first this is an easy one you just want to clean off your lint trap and we're gonna do it not just with our hands i'll do this first but then we're gonna wanna use the vacuum. And I purposely did not wash the outside or wipe down the outside of the dryer yet while I was doing the washer because I know how messy this can get. So, let's get the vacuum. gross. I went in there with a q-tip and got into all the nooks and crannies and then just gave it a bit of a rinse and now we can put it back. Oh actually no we can't. This is a deep clean so you do want to get the inside here where all the gunk seems to get stuck. Now let's tackle the drum. You can see there is quite a bit of buildup and all we're gonna do is use a wet cloth with vinegar and wipe it down. Fairly simple the longest part of deep cleaning your washer and dryer will be the wash cycles not necessarily the work you have to do so just a couple tips of how to maintain this whenever you are not using your wash machine just pop open the door slightly and that will help allow some of the moisture to come out so you don't build up mold and bacteria for your dryer you're going to want to check your filter almost or your lint trap almost every single time that you use your dryer and i know this is a tough one for me as well and then when you're using the tray of your wash make that a weekly thing take it all out wash it off because gunk can build up and you want your cleaning appliances to be the cleanest of them all so that they can continue doing their job and helping you clean Thank you so much for watching. If you have any how-to cleaning video requests, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.